Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. OMG. A lady in Melbourne loses her entire luxury bag collection due to robbery breaking in her own home. Yeah, Australia, Melbourne. Huh. This video is brought to you by Art Lovers Unite, my movie with Vivian Westwood, which is going to showcase three times in Melbourne, speaking of Melbourne, this September, September 23rd, September 24th, and September 25th of 2022 at the Cinema Nova Cinema in Melbourne. You can go get your tickets now at www.artloversunite.com. You click on screenings, you book your tickets. So be sure to check out Art Lovers Unite with yours truly and Vivian Westwood. Yes, that's me with shaved head. All right. Thank you so much for that. So this video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. You can also subscribe to my channel, push the subscription button next to it, push the join button, become a member today, get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon for extra perks. Thank you so much to all my members and patrons who have already pledged. Now, cue in my code chat tours. I live stream every Saturday. And you're all welcome to join the live stream conversations and the live chats. You guys, so basically $250,000 Australian worth of handbags gone. This lady's apartment slash home ransacked while she was out for the day, came back, somebody broke in, in Melbourne, all the bags gone. Now, there, it, nowhere in the world is safe anymore. No, real, seriously, I completely agree with you, Trisha. Um, so this is reported by 7news.com.au. And um, they say that the lady is a small business owner. And she came from work on August 31st of 2022. Uh, on August 3rd, sorry, of 2022. To find her house ransacked. Everything I say in this video is for entertainment purposes only, just my opinion, not rooted in facts or truths. So everything's alleged. Just to be sure, right? So, um, 50 designer handbags, they say, they allege, were taken, including more than a dozen Chanel brand and others such as Louis Vuitton, Saint Laurent, and Gucci. The lady is, um, stated that she has been collecting bags for over 10 years. Here is a photo uh, of part of her collection. Uh, I believe they kind of collage these photos together. Uh, these are photos that she probably took of her collection before the collection was stolen. Duh. Um, I've also seen pictures of how the apartment looks like the photos taken after the the thieves were there but um and yeah 10 years of collecting bags and uh, she claims that several of those bags have doubled in value throughout the years and then the saddest thing is she also allegedly quoted to have said that's all i have it's not like i have a hundred thousand dollars in my bank account or anything like that uh, some of them are extremely rare so it's kind of like I guess she saw them as an investment. The police believe the burglary occurred somewhere between 12 noon and 10 p.m. on August 3rd. And uh, Detective Senior S uh, Sergeant uh, Maloney said the victim, allegedly, the victim is absolutely devastated. It's a collection which has been acquired over a number of years. And she's a hardworking person and has invested her money in these bags. So... This is a this is an interesting point because it just again brings back this whole conversation that we're having, like whether or not bags are good investments. I always say they're not. This kind of just shows me even more that they're not, like because like she's saying her reasoning is, you know, I've invested so much money, I've spent so much money uh, and time in in these things. You know, I don't have any money on the bank. Th this was my bank. I'm like, well, then don't leave your bags at home if this was your bank. You also wouldn't leave all your money at home. Uh, you would bring the money to a bank. <laughs> so it, it's tricky. Now, I'm devastated for her. I'm super sorry that this happened. But at the same time, they always say, don't put all your, ba your, all your eggs in, this, in one basket. <laughs> they want to say, don't put all your baskets in one egg. 
That's a bit difficult. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Just saying. Comolita says, ah, I knew it. Business owner. Someone knew her. Interesting, Comolita. So you think it's an insider job. Like somebody knew her and made it happen. Uh, Coco Kitty says, if you have a collection that vast, it needs to have mega security. Vel says, Cha, how did I not hear about this? Well, that's why you got me, babes. Bibes. That's why you got me down under to let, to, to report. Ciara says, hope she had insurance. I hope so too. The article doesn't state that, but I, I also hope she had insurance, some form of insurance at least. Selena says, the sad thing is you cannot replace the memories attached to the bags, not to mention the shock. The shock and uh, the amount of feeling violated personally, intimately, even though, you know, you were at work, it didn't happen to you while you were there, it is, is terrible. That feeling is just the worst ever. So I'm sure she's going through the motions. Comalita says, do we need to get a luxury bag insurance? Like, I would be devastated. Yeah, Coco Kitty, that's a good point. Insurance won't cover replacement. <laughs> Um, uh, Blonde Chatty, thank you for the 12 month, 12 month renewal membership super chat. Time flies when you have bunker fun. Um, thank you so much, my love. And, um, and, um, insurance won't cover replacements, says Coco Kitty. No alarm system, says Oli. Well, that's not stated in the article. Apparently not, because if the police is saying that the burglary happened between, what did they say, 12 noon and 10 p.m., like, That's 10 hours. Like if they don't, if they can't pinpoint when it happened within a 10 hour range, then you know that there was no security system in that house. There was no camera system in that house. There was nothing that recorded because otherwise they would be very clear on when the burglary took place. Uh, is there luxury bag insurance? Janet says, Susie Q says, bags are not investments. Exactly. Um, not investment. It's a liability. Says, oh, yeah, bags are a liability. Seriously, especially luxury bags that you have to baby all the time. Oh, my God. Scared that you're going to bump into them, scratch them, scared that they get stolen. It's a mess. But in, in terms of insurance, I mean, I think nowadays you can have an insurance for everything. I'm not so sure. But um, you can insure your property against theft. And then it's kind of a generic thing. And it's, it's kind of complicated also because you have to have proof of the things you owned receipts that you purchased them, photos even to prove that you actually had them because then otherwise, you know, insurances can come after you and say insurance fraud, insurance fraud. If you're claimed that some of, some of your stuff was stolen, if they, if you can't prove that you owned the stuff in the first place, you know, technically you would need to photograph everything you buy. As soon as you buy it, you send it off to your insurance for them to update all the stuff you're insured on. And of course the amount you insure yourself for, um, keeps rising is the, the more stuff you keep buying. I mean, it's a liability for sure, you guys. It, it's insane. Silala says, uh, it's a Coco Kitty in the States. It, it would, if you have replacement insurance on belongings, you may have to give them a list of what you have when you take the policy. Exactly. Farinala says, don't put your luxury bags on shelters and display. Um... Oh, Fox and Mulder. Yeah, no CCTV. So, um, no, there was no CCTV there, obviously, because otherwise they would have they would have caught them. Otherwise, how can you say, as a police officer, oh, yeah, the burglary took place within ten hours? You know what I mean? If you had a camera, you would know what time the burglary took place. Comalita says, honestly, there needs to be a closet safe or something. Janet says it has to be an insider job. Shirley says, yes, I think someone knew her. Oh, I think somebody spied on her, says Anxini says, it looks like we all need a Jeffree Star vault. Yes, it sounds like an inside job. Coco Kitty says, I'm not sure if insurance would cover the replacement cost, especially if the value went up from the original retail cost. Um, home insurance, including content insurance, would be useful, says Trisha. Penny Lane says, writer insurance policy... Annette, if it wasn't an insider job, then she was stalked by the robbers. Farinaldo says, sorry, I would say shelves, not shelters. Tornadoes chasing channel. Okay. Uh, come on, uh, just, uh, just saying. I personally feel it is an inside job. This doesn't often happen in Australia. People who know her for sure were aware of the amount 
because not everyone has an idea. This is no coincidence. Interesting. Steph says, you can opt for a supplemental insurance policy called Scheduled Personal Property, SPP. That basically extends coverage of your standard plan. You can take out as many SPPs as you need. Hmm. Gloria says, wonder if it was like Kardashians. She posted pics and made it known. I, I don't know. These, I don't know if she posted pics and made it known. Sheila says, likely need a personal article floater due to the high value of the bags. This is exactly why I don't show my Birkins, etc. on social media. This is frozen luxury. Yeah. Tyler says, not in the past two weeks. I've been walking around. Okay, they don't even put the jewelry in the window display in Beverly Hills anymore. Whether it's 12 p.m. or 12 a.m., it just seems like they uh, theft is becoming more and more common. Not in the past two weeks I've been walking around, but maybe they just recently made the change. I have just noticed that it's very, every single jewelry store empty in Beverly Hills. People should not post anything that's expensive or designer, says Suzy Q. Now, Australia's kind of safe, says just saying, not a coincidence that the burglar was lucky to come in with gold on the shelf. Probably jealous friend or family member. This kind of things, even crime starts inside their circle. Ella says, nowadays, you don't need to post on social media to get your luxury things stolen. Comunita says, I would only show them in a random sp spot, not easily identifiable or away from my home. Selena says, I have been turned off by luxury bags lately and enjoy using a cotton tote bag. Let's bring back the unicorn tote bag by Dacob. Ah, oh, thank you so much. You can get the unicorn tote on my, uh, in my store, online store, www.superdacob.com for a unicorn tote bag. Thank you for reminding me, Selena. Thank you for reminding me to remind you. Jewelry is in the window in Beverly Hills, all of the designer stores, says Suzy Q. Oh, I love unicorns, says Comuelita. And on that note, this seems a very interesting topic because, um, I see that we have these really strong opinions about not showing stuff on social media. Uh, a lot of you think it was an insider job, that somebody knew her. I mean, interesting how so many of, of my ch co-chatters are thinking that this was an insider job. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below. And also, why do you think it might have been an insider job? Never give up on love and subscribe.